one. Hey everyone, this is Christine Josty of Mail Something Pretty, and today I'm going to show you how to make this card uh, showcasing this really cool sponged frame um, edging, I guess. Um, this is actually a club project, so I'm showing the club how uh, we made this card for those who missed, and anyone else who is joining, watching the video, hello, and thanks for watching. So, um, we are going to start with, I'm going to use the background piece because you can see we've done it many times. I'm going to start with my sunflower, which is from the Celebrate Sunflowers stamp set, and I'm going to use crushed curry. And I'm just going to stamp a sunflower in the top left corner. And then I'm going to stamp a little sunflower in that corner. And I'm rotating it because I didn't want that part of the sunflower on each of them in that corner. So there we go. And then I'm going to, okay, so I made a template um, and you can make any measurements you want. Um, I don't remember exactly what these are. Um, but you just want it so that you have this frame, however thickness that you want it. Mine's about a quarter of an inch. It might be a silly over a quarter of an inch. So this, you can probably see better this way. And obviously we've used that a lot. So this we're going to put on top of the stamped piece like that. And then I'm going to sponge the edges. So I'm going to start with my darker color, which is Cajun craze and I'm just gonna hold that down I'm not taping it down or anything and I'm just going to do the corners and get however dark you want it to be lighter towards the edge there and then I'm going to do this corner like that these are those um, sponge dubbers and then I'm going to use the same crushed curry and I'm gonna blend those two together. I like to leave the opposite corners a little white. You can do the whole thing or, or you know, have like a graduated color. Blend these, I'll do a little bit, a lot on the Cajun craze. And then you can lift it up to check. And if you need more, you can put it back on and do it. But I think that's pretty good. It's kind of a really cool framed uh, technique. I saw it, um, one of the artisan team members did one in, um, I would have copied it, but I didn't have the stamp set. It was forever greenery. So greenery coming down like a couple droopy, you know, not droopy, but you know, cascading ones. And then they used, I'm guessing they used like pretty peacock and um, granny apple green. It was beautiful colors. So um, for my club, I will find the picture and send it to you because it really was beautiful. Actually, I need that again. So this was my improv improvisation of that card. Um, I'm going to use Just Saying Hello, which is from the Tasteful Touches stamp set. And we'll stamp that in Cajun Craze to match like that. And now we just put the card together. So I have crumb cake. Um, I did a tiny little border. Let's see, so it's um, an eighth of an inch border. Because I didn't want you to see too much of the crumb cake. But again, it's a pretty versatile card once you know how to do that sponge technique. I'm just gonna move this closer to me so I can see it. Because it's a tiny little border. And I just realized I don't have my glasses on, which is why I can't see. Where are they? There they are. That's better. Okay, and I have been using this glue for like really everything. Um, I have not had a problem with a new seal. I know some people have. So I decided on my videos, I'm just going to use the glue or mostly use the glue just to show you that um, it works perfectly fine for card making. Okay. And the last thing I'll do is, um, I just realized I didn't have bring my take a pick tool up here either, but that's right. I just want a few little sequins just for a little splash of fall color. 
So I put the glue on first, and these are old sequins, not that it matters. Um, and let's see, they gotta stick to my fingers. They are from an old paper pumpkin kit when we made a, um, it was a shaker card kit a couple years ago. But the uh, sequins don't go bad. So I'm just using those. Um, trying to vary up the sizes. Let's see, what else do I have here? Well, I'll do this one, I guess. Usually I use my take a pick tool but it's downstairs. Yeah, let's see, I have one more, two more. What colors do I need? I worked out, and this was actually partially how I picked up my colors, was from the sequin pack, because of the same colors, and I liked them. Very fall and autumn. And I guess I'll do another green one. Okay. So there you go. So it was really pretty easy. You just need the sponge daubers really and just a template, which you can see that it, you know, it's been used many, many times and it's fine. Um, so it's a fun little technique. You can you come up with all sorts of variations of it. All right, thank you very much for watching Club. Um, this was your card for this one and I'm gonna make videos for the other two. And um, be sure for everyone else to check out my website at mailsomethingpretty.com. Thanks, bye-bye.